Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to take a look at the February Paper Pumpkin Kit from Stampin' Up! If you're already familiar with Paper Pumpkin and all of its features and benefits, you can just tune me out for just a second as I talk to some of our first-time viewers. Paper Pumpkin is a subscription program that is monthly through Stampin' Up! It does have some available options. You can subscribe on a pay-as-you-go basis, just trying it out month to month and simply skipping a month or two, increasing the number of kits you get a month, or canceling it all from the comfort of your own computer. You don't need me to help you with those options or those changes. It's also available as prepaid subscriptions, 1, 3, 6, 9, and 12 months. And the benefits of the prepaid subscriptions are that you don't have to think about it each month. And in addition, you can also add them to a customer order, a hostess order, thereby earning hostess benefits. And right now, the three-month subscription is on sale, earning you a celebration item. And I did a video talking about the extreme benefits of our 12-month subscription, and I'll put a link in the description of that. It is a self-contained craft kit that mails about the third week of the month, so you'll see it about the third week of the month in your mailbox this happy red um, craft kit will show up. So let's take a look at it. It is a craft kit, so every month will always be different and it will always be a surprise. The very first time that you subscribe in your kit, you will have an acrylic block. That is a block that you'll be able to use and have handy. You can always upgrade to our Cadillac of clear blocks, but this should serve all of your needs if you're trying to contain your crafting supplies. So inside the kit, you will find our classic ink spots. What's nice about this is these is the same ink that is on our classic stamp pads, which means that the reinkers in our big catalog will reink these, making these last forever for you. So that's great. In addition, you're going to find exclusive photopolymer stamps. Each month they are different and they are exclusive to Paper Pumpkin. You won't see them in any stamp set and you won't see them in any of our publications. So they are exclusive to that kit. And then the other thing that you will find in the kit is you will find all of the supplies that you need to make that month's craft projects. In the past, we've had home decor items like frames. We've had mini brag books and mini albums. We've had great card kits. We've had cake toppers. Again, it's just always a really fun, different craft kit. I personally like to subscribe to several of these kits a month. A couple of reasons. I always like making it exactly like it is. I love the ideas that the artists come up with. But because as I'm creating and doing that, my brain is always just going off to off and left field, I'm coming up with other ideas. And so I like having another kit so that I can create the other ideas. In addition, as a demonstrator, this is a product that I'm allowed to have on hand for cash and carry, which means that if a customer sees one and I still happen to have one left, I can sell it directly to them. So anytime you see a kit that you haven't um, gotten your hands on yet, you can always contact me to see if I have any left myself personally. One other benefit, though, speaking of that with Paper Pumpkin, is that past refill kits, because a lot of times you don't need more stamps and more inks, you just need the components of it. Past refill kits are available to our Paper Pumpkin subscribers, so that's something kind of fun. So let's look at all of the great goodies that are in this month's kit. I know you were thinking, come on, Janet, just get to it. Let's just see all the good stuff, and let's see what ideas you came up with. So you've got your full color picture of the completed project on the front and then inside you have visuals of how to put it together along with some written tips to help you put that month's project together. On the back just a listing of all of the supplies and then a link to their Pinterest account. You'll want to check that out to see some of the great ideas that are part of that. This month we happen to have some adhesive strips to help you put your box together. You have eight sets of the word thank you in felt letters. So you've got all of those put together and they are self-adhesive, ready to go right on. You have eight long accordion cards already pre-cut, pre-scored. So again, just ready to go right together for you. So that's nice to have all of that done. And then you also have eight boxes that are pre-cut, pre-scored. All you have to do is add a little bit of adhesive and then you have your baker's twine. So let's take a look at some of the ideas and I'll save that set. We'll use my, my current ink pads and we'll put one together. I like to go over my creases and just fold them to make sure that I've got a nice crease. It does help the box go together that much easier. And so we'll just make sure we've got all of our, our pieces worked. It's up to you to decide 
what you want for top or bottom. I like using the long flap for the bottom just like they show, and I like it on the outside. Of course, you could always be different and fold it like that if you wanted to. But for, for myself, I like it like this. And so I'm going to take and I'm going to put some of their adhesive stips right here on these two edges. And for viewing purposes, I already had two pulled off just to make it a little easier. And we'll take another one and we'll put it right on here. And then you can just take your scissors and you can just snip a little bit off. And you would pull the backing off. And then just taking one side at a time, line up your corners. There you go. Just like that. One of the other things that I like to do as well is take a bone folder and put it down inside and just give it a really good rub. So there I've got my basic box. Okay. I like that the not taking the adhesive the whole way up and just creating a flap with it, just like that. So just easy assembly on your box, and I'll show you some variations on that in just a second. One of the things that I encourage you to have when you're working with photopolymer stamps is a paper piercing mat or just a nice thick piece of fun foam. You're going to take, and I'm going to use one of our clear blocks, and you're going to just take your image, put it on your block, and then I already opened one of the ink spots just to show you. You can see that it is nice and raised, so it's great to work with. But I like to take the ink spot to the stamp, making sure that I'm getting really good coverage. So I like to do it that way, as opposed to taking this big stamp and trying to walk across that little pad. I find it just as easy to hold it in my hand. And we're going to go ahead and you'll just stamp, press, and hold, and you're going to get a nice, clean image. So let's take a look at some of the projects that I created, and I'm going to give you a couple of other tips on putting these together. The first thing when you're putting them together is the letters. I found that if you put all of your letters, instead of centering them, putting them all on the left-hand side, then when you go to put it together, what ends up happening is the letters are offset. So if you put them all on the left-hand side, and it looks really sharp that way, then they're all offset as opposed to what happened here. And this is how I learned that. Here, you can see they're all in the middle. So it squishes down on the side, and I have this big fat piece in the middle because I centered them all on the piece that I had stamped. And it would have looked just as cute if I had offset them, and it would have fit much nicer in my little pouch. This pouch here, what I did with this one, and let's put that off to the side, is I just simply folded it the whole way in, creating a pocket just like that. And then I cut the flap off. I just cut it right off and just made myself just a little pouch. I stamped, um, I cut one of the panels off, stamped it on the front, wrapped some ribbon, and just used some of the extras that are left over on that felt piece. And I had a cute little thank you pouch that I could give to somebody, so we'll set that one aside. Here on this one, I took the cards and I cut them apart, and I made just four little mini thank you notes. Here the hello, I just wrote with a marker. I just wanted to say, and then whatever it is that you wanted to say, I put a little T on here and the word thanks, and then just stamped the word thanks over and over again. So I have four little mini notes in this one, so that's an option for you. In this one here, just to show you, this one is actually just done the way that they say to do it. And again, I put them in the center, not realizing that, again, I could have saved a little bit of space and had some room for some chocolate or some other goodies had I stamped them or placed them off center. So that's an idea. In this box here, I put a T on the front and thanks. And then for my hostesses, I'm just creating a set of tags ready for them to go. I cut each panel down to two inches wide, punched them with our angle top pair, and I just wanted to say, and I'm leaving the back blank for my hostesses to write a message on. So there's a set of tags for her to wrap up her guest gift, and of course it wouldn't be any fun without some chocolate. So there's some chocolate pieces that are included in it, so that was another variation or idea. Something else, who doesn't love chocolate? And this is one of my favorite new chocolates, the Hello series from Lint, and this happens to be the salted caramel one. 
and I just used the letters right on the candy bar. Again, left the lid open, cut a panel off of one of the cards, stamped it, made a fun bow with the baker's twine, and there's a nice little thank you note to give somebody. One of the things that I love is Project Life, and I challenge myself every single month to do a Project Life layout. And I know that the camera angle is in close, so I will have a full-size picture of this. But I just used some of the letters. One of the stamps that I love to use with Project Life is our rotary alphabet stamp so that I can stamp any word that I want. And so here I did happy, today, always, smile. I just wanted to say... And I wrote a little bit about um, how they uh, make me smile in today and always. So just a great way to use that. And then, of course, as crafters, we like to waste nothing. So I just wanted to tell you thanks for watching today, guys. Take care and God bless.